In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create a random quote generator that you see here. This is what the final result will look like. You will be able to see the quote as well as the author. And if we click this button, it will generate another random quote. The only requirement for this project is that you have a basic understanding of React. Switching over to the code, I will now explain how this project is set up. And just before we start, I will upload all of the code that you see in this tutorial to my GitHub so that you can clone the project for yourself. One last thing we need to do before looking at the code is we need to install a couple of packages. If you look down here in the terminal, I'm just going to install three different packages, which is React Bootstrap, Bootstrap, and Axios. And I'll explain in a second why we need each package. Once you have this command in your terminal, just hit enter to install the packages. Looking back at the code now on line one, we can see that I'm just importing an app.css file, which has some basic CSS. Going back to the code, on line two, I'm just importing Axios, which is a package that allows us to easily make API calls. And we will be using this package to make an API call to get random quotes. On line three, I'm just importing the use effect and use state hook from React. And on line five and six, I'm just importing the card and button component from Bootstrap, which are pre-built UI components so that we don't have to rebuild those components ourselves. On line 13 and 14, I just created two new variables using the React use state hook, and those will represent the quote that we get back from the API call, as well as the author of the quote. On line 16, I'm just using the React use effect hook, and I'm calling a function called get random quote. Looking inside the function, I'm using Axios to make an API call to this specific URL. If we go to this specific URL, you can see that we just get back data that includes a quote, as well as the author of the quote. Once we get back a response from this API call, I'm just using the set quote and set author function to actually save the data that we get back from the API. Looking back at the project, if we look in the console, you can see I'm printing out the response that we get back and we have access to the author, the ID, as well as the quote itself here. Going back to the code, you can see that I'm just saving the quote by doing set quote and I'm passing in response.data.quote, which is the value that you see here. And I'm doing the exact same thing for the author. If we wanted to save the ID, we could do the exact same thing and access the ID by just doing response.data.id. Now I'll explain the code that you see here to explain how I put out the UI. Starting on line 33, I created a div and added multiple bootstrap classes. The first class just adds a display flex property. So if we look on the right hand side, you can see it right here. And then justify content center just centers the content horizontally. The align item center uh, centers content vertically. And for the class name of VH100, that just makes the height of the page 100 view width. And the reason I added these classes is so that the card component that you see here is vertically and horizontally aligned in the center of the page. On line 34, I'm importing the bootstrap card component and adding a class name of BG light to make the background white. On line 35, I'm just centering the text and adding some margin as you see here. On line 36 to 38, this is where I'm displaying the actual quote itself. On line 39 to 41, this is where I'm displaying the author and I'm adding a class name of text end, which just makes the text show at the end instead of the start or the center. And finally, on line 42 to 44, this is why I imported the bootstrap button component and added an onclick handler to call the get random quote function each time we click the button. So each time we click this button, we'll just make an API call to get a new random quote. And that is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.